Hi, today is May 1st, 2013. I'm going to get, get a chance to see my show on TV, and I'm going to be able to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. But on the 3rd, I'm going out, I'm going to go to Pizza Hut. I'm going to go to Pizza Hut because... I like the new pizza they got. It's a nice, wonderful environment. It's very cozy. And when I go there, I get happy. I'm still waiting on my passport. I'm still waiting to renew this passport. Ah, oh, God. The first of three documentaries will air this Saturday at 12.30 on Channel 57. <clears throat> Hi, Paulina. How you doing? I'm going to bring you the open letter to the editor, published in the paper. Hopefully you'll watch my show. It's a surprise. But on Friday night, I'm going out. I've been working very hard. I need to finish this book, publish it. and get back to the breath tester business and I have a new candidate for the new TV commercial series for the breath tester business. It's basically my personal log for the day. I'm getting to know who my friends are and that's it. French guy. I have to work with this project. I'd like to thank everyone for helping me out, especially my best friend, Ms. Tracy Ragmati. And I've done a pretty good job. I'm happy with my work. I showed that I don't have anything against anybody. I just destroyed an entire congressional district because they didn't do their job. I bet you, Senator Malcolm Smith, Senator Shirley Huntley, Assemblywoman Vivian Cook, and Councilman Reuben Wills probably regret the day they didn't do a damn thing in doing their job to keep the New York City municipality from throwing that housing discrimination noose around my neck and driving me into such destitute state, such a destitute state. A hundred thousand dollars for stuff taken out of my home made me poor. Mothballed my business, I'm out of millions. <laughs> Spent three years living on the beach. And I can recover. Enough that I don't have to hate my life. That's about it. And this whole helping people crap. You know, because they're incompetent. They don't know what in the hell they're doing. You're trying something. And you go to help them, you're going to get hurt. You're going to waste your money. You're going to waste your time. I go through these things to teach lessons to other people. I have no wife, I have no children. I gotta live longer to giving people what's up here. And in the documentary that airs on Saturday, <clears throat> and the information that is now 
in the hands of the editor. It'll be published tomorrow afternoon. I get the paper. Wow. Wow. There isn't a God on this planet that can give me my 10 years back and $6 million. There is no God in this country that can give me even half of it back. That's what you call putting somebody in slavery after all these years of work to be taken to nothing because I saved somebody's life. And for the entire city of New York to retaliate against me, for the mayor to call me, I mean to send his regards through the marshal evicting me. And everything I did to expose the black mafia in Southeast Queens gives me a shot. So I just need to take my time and do it. I'm going to write a little simple book first. Then I've got a year to produce another one. And a year after that, I produce another one. It's all in the email. The first one is from Corporate Guide to Instant Homelessness. The second one is the Slum Cleansing Operation. That's an illegal thing that Mayor Bloomberg did. And then we'll be able to report on whether the new administration does something about it or not, because I'm going after them too. The case is still in court. It's up today. We don't know what's happening. But if it gets dismissed in New York State Supreme Court, it goes to federal district court. I'm not letting them leave office without the litigation around their neck. It's just that simple. And I did this for all the people who couldn't. And it's my right to harvest it and to sell it. And I get a chance to sell everybody else's behind down the river along with it that are the elected officials who did these crimes against humanity. Well, personal law, May 1st, 2013, 12.30 p.m.